What is up guys how are you all doing so this is a tv buying guide not your typical tv buying guide where you come across saying let's say this tv offers plenty of features this tv offers this operating system this has let a standard operating system might look great has great picture quality not that kind of video you'll see today so this video will be really helpful to you guys if you are thinking to buy a television now television is not something that you would replace often just like our smartphones television is something like an investment you should be really happy and you should have that pleasant experience when you go and watch a movie or watch anything on the TV so that's where you get the relaxation right so with that in mind you should get a TV that has really good picture quality and sounds great too so how do you select that okay when you go to showroom you come across so many televisions that get confused on which one to choose some TVs grab your attention just with great picture quality at least two to three televisions will be calling to you asking you to take a look at it so that's how the tweaks will be done by the salesperson so it's not the default picture quality that the TV manufacturers offers so the first thing you want to do is to grab a remote and change the modes in all the TVs that you would love to check out. Keep the same mode in all the televisions. Let's say cinema mode. So you just change the mode to cinema in all the television and then see the picture quality, how the contrast is, how the brightness is, how's the panel, is there any light bleeding and all sorts of that. So the most important thing to look for here is the refresh rate. So often I have said this one in my other videos as well because people are not aware of this one. So they are easily offering you 60 hertz refresh rate TV. So this is where really the picture quality matters so if you buy a tv that has 100 or 120 hertz refresh rate the picture quality will be next level so you will have that wholesome experience while you watch videos or cinema or whatever it is so it gives a realistic experience as compared to the traditional 60 hertz refresh rate tv most tvs that you see online or offline offer you just 60 hertz refresh rate so that's what really bothers me because let's say you're spending 1500 dollars or let's say 65,000 rupees 55,000 rupees yet you're getting 60 hertz refresh rate tv that's not how it should be Nowadays, if you take smartphones, the displays are like 240 hertz refresh rate. Displays have 120 hertz refresh rate. Why not with the television, right? You're spending so much money and you don't get that refresh rate. Yes, the panels are a little bit on the costlier side because people are forced to buy 60 hertz refresh rate TV and they have no knowledge about 100 or 120 hertz panel. So it even exists. They don't know about it. So that's why majority of the people what they buy and that's what they get from the manufacturers. And next time when you try to buy television, make sure to you ask the salesperson to show you the TV that has 100 or 120 hertz refresh rate that's the first number one thing that you should check out while buying TV the number two is the connectivity okay now you might be thinking we know about that one we should have plenty of connectivity features but wait there is HDMI 2.1 that supports 4k so that port should be on your TV then you should have at least three USB ports one for the external hard drive one for the mouse one for the keyboard so that really helps again with the HDMI at least three HDMI ports would do a real justice because if you want to connect your laptop to the bigger monitor screen that's the television so you would want to plug in that HDMI port and most importantly you should have that Ethernet port for internet connectivity faster connectivity and you should also look in for optical input if your speaker supports that one so that's the connectivity features you should be looking for especially these days when you buy a tv the third thing is sales and support this is really really important often we neglect mouth watering price you are getting with the tvs especially with 65 55 inches you are getting for really really low prices but then again sales and support is very poor what if you buy a television that has everything and it looked really great and what if the tv shows some problem in the panel or uh, say in the connectivity thing and it's just been six months that you have bought the TV so now TV manufacturer is not ready to replace the part so what you'll do in that case you don't have any sales and support backing the TV itself make sure that brand has the sales and support in your location so once you know that there is proper sales and service in your location so go ahead and buy that brand now with all this what brand to buy so how do you choose a brand? Whatever brand you are thinking to choose, you have that availability of sales and support in your location. Pretty much majority of the brands are offering you Android OS. Let's say 10 or 11 should be the minimum norm. Again, one more thing, make sure you have at least 2 GB RAM and 16 GB internal storage when you choose a TV. So that's the minimum, bare minimum thing. If it's less than that, do not pick that TV. So with respect to brand, I'll just leave some of the trusted brands based on the user reviews and other factors also considering. So I'll leave them in the description section of this video so make sure to check the links over there so number four is what type of panel you want to look for LED panel there is QLED there is OLED so there is also LCD with IPS display for accuracy in terms of colors so if you're looking for a professional TV with bigger screen and you don't have any budget problem then I would recommend you buy a LCD IPS display that has 120 Hertz refresh rate so those TVs are really great in terms of picture quality and long-term reliability so OLED screens does have some cons 
once with respect to screen burning issue at some point of time you may not know but then again that's how it is so you can choose the OLED display so if you are a little budget constraint you can go ahead and pick the QLED display which is a quantum LED basically it's a LED with deep blacks and deep whites quantum LEDs are nothing but they offer you the micro dimming feature with those deeper blacks as compared to traditional LED so traditional LED TVs offer you light bleeding so make sure you watch that as well when you're buying a TV it should be like very uniform so what you can do is to just play a white screen on the TV and see how bright it is and then change it to black see that there should not be any white screen light bleeding so that's what really matters there because you're looking at a black picture yet you have that white LED bleeding light leak is what we call so if you see any of those things just don't buy that so you're watching a black it should be deep black as deep as it can get brightness should be of 300 nits so more than 300 nits is always a welcome thing so these are the aspects that you should consider before buying a TV hopefully you learned something hopefully this video was informative or helpful if yes hit that like button do share it with your friends to support my channel and don't forget to click on that subscribe button if you are new to my channel that's it in this video see you in the next one till then take care everyone bye bye